Hello friends, uh, welcome back to Auto Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about the on change method in the last video. Uh, in this video, we are going to start with the constraints. As you know, the constraints is uh, some restrictions that we put on our uh, objects. Okay, so uh, simply uh, we are talking about the model constraints. Odoo provides two ways uh, to set up constraints on your models. One type is uh, the Python constraint. That's what we are going to discuss in this video. So, <clears throat> Python constraints, just like uh, uh, we see on our api.depends and opi.onchange, it's a uh, decorator, it's a method decorator. And uh, each argument must be a field that we should check. Okay, so that uh, participate in our uh, con uh, conditions. Okay, validation. So uh, just like uh, API or depends, we put the uh, fields that depends upon our uh, condition, our uh, method, and on change we put some fields that uh, uh, triggers the on change method and here we put fields uh, the, uh, as arguments that uh, those fields will decide the validation of uh, those fields will participate in the validation of that constraints for an example uh, if you want to uh, uh, in a form you have uh, first name and second name and you don't uh, permit your users to fill the same value in the first name and second name so if you want uh, a condition like that you can use uh, python constraints and uh, it is invoked on a record set uh, that means a set of records and uh, uh, whenever we fill the data system will uh, automatically evaluate uh, whenever we change the data whatever uh, modification happens on that fields uh, the system will automatically evaluate the your condition and uh, it, it is written as a method just like a function so uh, let's get uh, get get into our uh, open academy module uh, we uh, had a day constraint method here so it is defined like this api dot constraints and in the bracket we put the instructor id and the attendees id so these two fields are uh, fields of uh, open academy dot session the instructor id and the attendee ids so what is our condition uh, what our condition is uh, though so the record set that the, all the sessions will come under the self and each uh, it will iterate through uh, this for loop okay uh, so the r will have a one session so that session dot instructor id uh, if the instructor id is given and the instructor id is in attendant attendee ids so the instructor is already there in our attendees then this exception will trigger okay this will uh, rise by the system a session instructor can't be an attendee so that's our condition we cannot give the uh, the restored part that we already given as a attendee of a session as an instructor of the same session okay so, uh, and in another uh, angle we cannot put the instructor of a session as the attendee of that same session that's our condition so if uh, uh, this is how we can write the uh, constraint so uh, it's a this, this is the decorator we use for this uh, python constraints so it's api other it api dot constraints and uh, as arguments we put the fields that participate in our uh, validation and the instructor id and the attendee ids so let's check uh, how this will affect our uh, 
condition and how this will act in our user interface okay we have the session and uh, this is what we had mistake sorry i subdued our app I'm changing this to deco addict and saving you see a sessions instructor can't be an attendee it's came because we put the deco edit already in the attendees list so uh, we I cannot select the instructor the code it here just like that uh, we don't have uh, let's check the uh, opposite with it Germany furniture is all data lumber incorporation is uh, our instructor so I'm changing this and just uh, after this uh, I'm going to add lumber incorporation in our Uh, sorry uh, or another validation is working now <laughs> so number incorporation i put 10 seeds number of seeds you see the session instructor can't be added so we already put uh, number incorporation as our instructor then he cannot add as attendees of this session so this how uh, we can configure uh, Python constraint we can set up a Python constraint in Odoo and uh, uh, you can have more examples uh, here I will show you API dot constraints so uh, uh, this constraint is based on the parent ID of the HR dot department so this uh, what what is the condition is here the check parent ID self load check recursion and uh, Recursion is the condition uh, check, checking for the recursion. Uh, is it uh, a endless loop that is happening here? So if it is, uh, the condition is true, it will arise a validation error. You cannot create a recursive department. Just like this, another example is uh, for the employee. If we put a pin, so uh, system will verify the pin address. So for employee, if the employee pin is given and it is not a digit, then this validation error will rise. Like the pin must be a sequence of digits. Just like that, we have another conditions, and uh, there are a lot of uh, examples that you can refer. You see uh, the state and model ID, etc. So. Uh, you can have uh, a deeper look into these examples uh, to uh, get a better idea of how uh, the Python constraints is working. So, uh, as a brief, uh, we use the API dot constraints uh, decorator for this, and we put uh, the fields that participate in our validation as the argument of that uh, uh, that decorator, and then uh, it's you see simply a, a Python method. To, uh, for the validation that's what uh, we basically have in Python constraints I hope you understand uh, how uh, these things works and uh, hope enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info at cybrosis.com